John Goodseer. John Goodseer, 20 March 1814, 6 March 1867, was a Scottish anatomist and a pioneer in the formulation of cell theory. Early life. Goodseer was born on 20 March 1814 in Anstruther, Fife. He was baptized on 17 April 1814. His younger brother, Joseph Taylor Goodseer, entered the ministry and became minister in Lower Largo. His younger brother, Harry Goodseer, perished on the Franklin Expedition. Another brother, Robert B. 1824, qualified as a doctor and sailed twice to the Arctic searching for his brother Harry. His youngest brother, Archibald, the 1826 qualified as a member of the Royal College of Surgeons of England. In December 1826, at the age of 12, Goodseer entered the University of St. Andrews, where his classes included classics and mathematics. The following year, he was apprenticed to the surgeon and dentist Robert Nasmith at 78 Great King Street in Edinburgh's new town. This allowed him to enter the Edinburgh University Medical School and also attend classes at the Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh. He finished his apprenticeship with Nasmith in 1833 and qualified as licentiate of the Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh in 1835. He then moved back to Anstruther to work in his father's medical practice, which allowed him to resume his boyhood hobby of searching the local coastline along the Firth of Forth for all forms of wildlife. The specimens which he collected formed the basis of the collection he later developed as a museum conservator. In Edinburgh, Goodseer had befriended Edward Forbes, who would later become Regius Professor of Natural History at the University of Edinburgh, and George Day, later Shandos Professor of Anatomy and Medicine of the University of St. Andrews. Together with Goodseer's brother Joseph, they rented a flat at 21 Lothian Street close to the university, which became a meeting place for scientists, writers, and artists, who together called themselves the Brotherhood of the Friends of Truth. During his surgical and dental apprenticeship with Nasmith, Goodseer had started to collect human teeth. From studies of these, he made the important observation that deciduous teeth were not the parents of permanent teeth, but developed independently. In 1839, he published a noted paper on this topic. The following year, he gave a paper to the British Association for the Advancement of Science entitled Dentition in the Ruminants, with some assistance from the University of Edinburgh Professor of Natural History, Robert Jameson. Jameson lent him an Ehrenberg microscope and encouraged him to develop microscopical studies, from which Goodseer would later make major contributions to understanding of cell and tissue structure and function. Goodseer joined the Wernerian Natural History Society, which had been founded by Jameson. Among his teachers at Edinburgh it was the anatomist Robert Knox, who made the greatest impression. Knox broadened Goodseer's idea of the importance of comparative anatomy in the scheme of life and in the medical curriculum. Knox appreciated his pupil's skill and gave him normal and pathological specimens to mount and preserve. The two kept in touch with each other for many years. Museum Conservator and anatomy demonstrator. Cell theory. On the basis of his studies using the compound microscope, Goodseer developed his theory about the nature and structure of cellular life and organization. He concluded that all living organisms are formed of microscopic units, cells. Goodseer was not alone in postulating such a concept and the theory that cells form the basic structure of tissues in all plants and animals has been attributed to Matthies Jacob Schladen and to Theodore Schwann. Goodseer posed and then answered the questions, what is a cell with its walls, contents, nucleus and nucleolus? How is a cell formed? How do cells multiply? The theory which he developed from these studies was original and won the extravagant praise of Rudolf Virchow, 1821-1902 who dedicated his masterpiece Cellular Pathology to Goodseer, describing him as one of the earliest and most acute observers of cell life, both physiological and pathological. In 1842, Goodseer was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society of Edinburgh, his proposer being James Syme. He was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society in 1846. In 1849, 
he was elected as a member of the American Philosophical Society. Professor of Anatomy When Alexander Monroe Tertius retired in 1846, Hoodseer was appointed Professor of Anatomy at the University of Edinburgh. In 1848, he was elected a Fellow of the Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh, FRC said, applied for the position of Assistant Surgeon to the Royal Infirmary of Edinburgh, but was not appointed. He moved into Edward Forbes's South Cottage at Wardy in North Edinburgh, where he spent the last ten years of his life. Such was the improvement that he brought about in anatomy teaching that by 1860-1861, the size of the anatomy class had grown to 354. Later Years From 1850, Goodseer became unwell, showing the features of the chronic wasting illness which would eventually prove fatal. It made slow and insidious progress and assumed the characters of locomotor ataxia. Yet, despite this, after the death of his friend Edward Forbes in 1854, he took on Forbes's lectures in addition to his own. In 1863, he was invited to assist Sir David Brewster with an article for the North British Review on Favor's analysis of Goethe's studies. Brewster, a distinguished physicist and mathematician, and now principal of the University of Edinburgh, had known Goodseer from 1839, when both were members of the Literary and Philosophical Society of St. Andrews. Goodseer died at South Cottage, Wardy, Edinburgh on 6 March 1867, at the age of 52. He is buried alongside one of the central paths in Dean Cemetery, Edinburgh, next to his friend Forbes.